Today I'm going to show you two different cooking methods to make a delicious meal with chicken legs, potatoes, carrots, onions, and celery. So let's get to cooking. So we're starting off with our basic vegetables that are very economical. I'm using russet potatoes, yellow onions, celery, and carrots. I bought a one pound bag of carrots and the celery is fresh, as well as garlic. Now I found these chicken legs on sale, so I stocked up. And today I'm cooking about 14 to 15 chicken legs. Now to start off with, I'm going to wash my potatoes and I'm washing them in white vinegar as I do for all of my produce. And you're gonna see that I also use white vinegar when cleaning my chicken. So in a separate bowl from my vegetables, I'm also cleaning my chicken and water and I'm letting that soak as I process my other vegetables. Now I'm cutting up my yellow onions and you'll notice all of the vegetables I'm using in these recipes are very economical, especially in the winter time. It's November, so I guess technically it's autumn, but potatoes, onions, carrots and celery are not expensive at all so it doesn't cost a lot of money to make this recipe which is always awesome now i'm smashing up my garlic cloves the main thing here is to use a knife with a wide blade so it's easy to put the entire body of the knife over the garlic and pound down with your hand to smash it it makes it easier to open up the garlic cloves and peel the skin off once that's completed, I'm just going to give it a small dice. I love garlic, so the amount you use depends on how much you love it. I'm using about six or seven large potatoes. I slice each potato down the long way, and then I slice it down the long way again, and then I turn it sideways and I cut it two or three times to make six or eight pieces. It just depends on the size of your potato. A smaller potato, you might make smaller cuts. And you'll notice I am leaving the skin on. I like the rustic presentation. It may add some additional nutrients. And look at that. Now we have beautifully cut russet potatoes. I also have my onions sliced and my garlic cut. Next up is to process my celery. So I have my celery that I already broke in half and washed and here I'm just cutting off the end pieces because I don't want to eat the bitter or the darkened end pieces of any vegetable. And if you've seen any of my vegetables with celery, you know what I'm going to do next. I break it in half to pull off the fibrous skin. This is the chewy part that gets stuck in people's teeth sometimes that make them say they don't like celery. So I just pull that off before I even cut it and dice it. And I just always do it for every recipe and it works well for me. So I'm cutting my celery into bite-sized pieces. I don't want them too big or too small. But any of these vegetables cut to the size you like. The seasonings I'm using today include poultry seasoning, which is vegan. It contains thyme, sage, margarine, rosemary, black pepper, and nutmeg. It's delicious on poultry and vegetables. I'm also using black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and thyme leaves, as well as this hickory smoked sea salt that you can click the link in the description below to buy. So first method is using our crock pot. So I have my carrots in my crock pot bowl, and I have all my vegetables and cleaned, as well as my chicken drained, and now I'm seasoning it with the seasonings that I just showed you. There are 14 to 15 pieces of chicken here. All of it won't fit in my crock pot, so I'm gonna show you a second method to cook them, the remaining ones with all the same ingredients. You'll notice here I just added seasonings to my vegetables as well. So now I'm mixing my carrots, onions, and celery in the first layer of my bowl of the crock pot because they, the vegetables, will release water as they cook. So now I'm just adding a layer of chicken legs so I can get in about five or six chicken legs in the first layer on top of my vegetables on top yes on top of my vegetables so now that my chicken is in i'm adding another layer of potatoes and celery and then you'll see me add onions and garlic and then the second layer comes up so you don't want to overcrowd your crock pot and crock pot comes in different sizes so you'll just need to make the proportion of food that can fit into your container Look at how beautiful the crock pot looks already before I even start cooking. So I have about six chicken legs left, so I put it in a nonstick bacon pan. It's a Gotham steel bacon pan, and I also put the remaining vegetables in there as well. The last step before cooking is I'm adding about a half of tablespoon of smoked sea salt, hickory smoked salt. If you like salt, then you may want to add more, but it's safer to just add a small amount at first and then add more at the end when you taste it. I'm setting my crock pot to cook for four hours on high heat. You'll notice I did not add any liquid to the pan. The vegetables will make its own. 
I also did not add liquid to my roasting pan of chicken and vegetables. If you don't have a nonstick pan, then you may want to add olive oil to the bottom to coat everything before you bake this for about 45 minutes. When I took this out at 45 minutes, it was almost done, but I wanted more color. So I did spray some olive oil spray on top of it. And then I popped it back in the oven at 400 degrees, which is what I've been cooking it at so that it could get color. And I turned each chicken leg and sprayed it as well. So at this point, my crock pot has two hours and 40 minutes left and you can see how those look. After about a total of 55 to 60 minutes, my chicken and vegetables are perfectly roasted and delicious and tender. And this is how they are looking. When my crock pot was finished, look at my beautiful chicken. Now, this doesn't have a lot of color. The chicken doesn't because I didn't add any smoked paprika or dark seasoning, but I really just wanted this good, simple flavor of chicken and vegetable stew, and it was absolutely delicious. And this is a great way to use up an excess of chicken legs if you happen to buy a bunch on sale. Thank you for watching.